Hello everyone, um, I'm Amy, aka Amage, and um, I wanted to share this message. Uh, this is about the uh, the testimony of Jesus Christ as the spirit of prophecy. That scripture kept coming to my heart often, and even more so lately. So, um, you know, I, I thought about it, you know, I was praying in the spirit, and I thought, God, what, what does this mean? I, I understand it, but what does it really, what does it mean? You know, and I was just pondering on that. And um, often God reaches me that way when I'm just really in deep thought and just sort of just doing really mundane things and, and he just reaches me that way. So I guess that's when I'm the most still. Um, so I kept thinking of that same this scripture and, that, and I'll read to you where that is in Revelation. Also the message of preparing for the return of Christ. Um, we have to be ready or he will come like a thief in the night to those who are not ready. So um, even if it's believers, if they're not ready, they're going to be very surprised and be caught off guard. And, you know, we love our Lord and we want to please him and we want to, you know, do the work for the kingdom. And uh, when you love somebody, when you love him, you just want to be pleasing to him and hear him say when you get there, uh, well done, good and faithful servant. So. You know, that's, that's the idea, you know, that's, I want to hear that when I see the King of King and Lord of Lords. I want to hear that when he, when he says that. So it's really important. So we have to prepare uh, and we have work to do. There's spiritual warfare going on. There's a lot of things. It's, it's escalating and um, time is very short. So in Revelation 19, chapter 19, 9 through 10, um, this is where you're going to find that scripture. Uh, is to prepare for the marriage supper of the Lamb. This is before the second coming of Christ. Revelation 19, 9 through 10, verse 9. And the angel said to me, so just to preface this, the angel was saying to John, um, Apostle John, write this, blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, these are the true words of God. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers who hold to the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. So, this, this came through my head. God just it was just reaching my heart. So, prophecy gives testimony, gives the testimony of Jesus Christ. So it gives testimony. Why does it give testimony? Because the Lord Jesus Christ fulfills it. Every single prophecy, all of them, he fulfills them. The message is believers that are ignoring the prophecy, Bible prophecy, are ignoring the testimony of Jesus Christ. And we, we don't want to do that. He says, watch and pray. Uh, if this is how important it is, when believers are ignoring prophecy, they're ignoring the testimony of Jesus Christ. Um, so believers that who see and hold the testimony of Jesus Christ truly worship God according to the scriptures. That's what that says. So this is why the believers, you know, we have to have ISAV um, given by Christ. Jesus says in Revelation 13, 18, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich and the white garments so that you may, be, may clothe yourself and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen, and salve to anoint your eyes, so that you may see. Here's a commentary. There is a great need of renewed vision. The eye salve is the Holy Spirit because the work of the third person of the Godhead, the Trinity, is to convict the heart of sin and to restore spiritual sight. That's in John 16, 8 through 11. There's more to be said about that, um, that verse. And I can actually show you more of what that means. So the gold, buy from Christ the gold, that is, that is the grace of faith. That's his grace. And then when you buy the white garments, that's the robe of Christ's righteousness. And you, when you buy ISAV from Christ, that is receiving the, the fullness of the Holy Spirit so that you can see. So you see how important those things are. Jesus is, is uh, telling us, you know, the lukewarm church, the Laodicean church, and I'm not saying us in that way, I'm saying that we are in the era of the Laodicean church and you can see it all around us. There's, um, there's people that, that God is raising up to help the other believers right now. Um, other people, you know, whether it's the gift of prophesying and being a watchman and uh, pastors and people that are just uh, really 
their spirit is quickened and wakened up by the Holy Spirit. So um, that's why you know we're we're getting together and we're reaching out to help everybody just to to make sure that they know what's going on and, and, and what's headed our way. So um, please, everyone, just um, stay in prayer and um, keep your eyes open, watch and pray, and uh, pray that that the Lord will give you the eye salve so that you can see if you're not spiritually awake so that you can see and discern what is going on, the difference between spiritual, the evil, and good. You know, you can see that all around you. And it's very important. Jesus said to be wiser than serpents and harmless as doves. In the original translation, it's wiser than serpents. So we need to be very wise in the Holy Spirit and harmless as doves. So um, know the Word of God. You get into that, and He'll show you so many wonderful things. Uh, it's just such a blessing. But um, I wanted to share that message with you. Um, I hope to reach everyone's heart with that. God bless you, and uh, we are one in Christ, and, and just keep, keep praying for one another. In Jesus' name, amen.